It's been a few weeks since I've been here. This scaffolding was not here. As you can see, it just barely clears Jimmy's head. Starting to put the finishing pieces on the marquee. Looks like they're just putting them up by tape. Interesting. I know, they're, they're just putting it, holding them in place for right now. So I stopped shooting uh, because it, it got too dark. So this is actually the next day. I was going to show you some video I shot of the Tonight Shop about to open. But it is now open. So here's some stuff I shot last night. Jeez, even the mannequins are doing selfies now. Come on. Sorry for the glare, but this is what it looks like without the polarizer filter. So, more selfie taking mannequins. They have now put curtains up. You were able to see in the shop before. But, not anymore. And now that it's open, let's check it out. I actually have not been in here yet, so you're going to see it at the same time I do. Yeah. It's the Dice Shop with Jimmy Fallon. Ooh, it's got that new store smell. Some pajama bottoms. Some alcoholic cups to help you enjoy the show more, I guess, because of the host. Oh, some old school mugs. Old school NBC logo. And it's a shot glass collection that has the logos over the years, starting from the original to the current. This is kind of cool. It's um, it's actually uh, the print is raised up, and this has a little bit of uh, embezzlement to it, or embossed a little bit. Never say that. That just that's stupid. Uh, okay, this is kind of cool. And other shot glasses that have various old NBC logos. These go back even further, I think. Although they're probably the same thing, they're just, no? These are different. It's a kind of a nice glass. The bottom it has the logo. And that, of course, is curtained off because that is the exit from the ride that is not quite open yet. This guy has a bow tie, which is bad enough, but it's a words with friends bow tie, which is even weirder. For some reason, the peacock is not lit up. Maybe it's only at night. More pandas. I don't ever watch a show, so I don't know, and I don't care what that means. But for something, some reason, it has to do something with hashtags. Hashtag panda, I guess? I, I really don't care. And other in-jokes for people who watch the show, I'm guessing. One last look at the store. It's pretty small, so not a whole lot to show you. And there's this section over here. That's about it. A little more of the sign, or the marquee is up now. Whatever that is on the side, that's interesting. Are they getting ready for a Pink Floyd concert? I believe they are setting up for Mardi Gras. Actually, it is. Mardi Gras is starting to appear in Universal Studios. Some more Mardi Gras stuff. Never been here for Mardi Gras, this will be my first year. I might actually be working this event too. Still waiting to see what this is. I'm pretty sure it's the store that they built here is expanding, but I, I really don't know. There is lighting all around. This is just one of them. I'll show you some more in a later video. So I've been meaning to show you this for a little bit. These are throughout the park. 
both the Universal and Islands of Adventure. It's a free cell phone charging and it's very glossy too. Basically, when you see one that's blue, you can have it opened. Let me start up here with the touch screen. Put your phone inside, there's all kinds of connectors, and then try to remember, definitely try to remember where you put it in the park. You pick it up and there's no charge to charge. Initially I saw from across the lagoon that Krusty's eyes are not rolling, but then I got over here I realized that the ride is temporary clo temporarily closed for routine maintenance. If you go to either Disney or Universal in January or February, you're going to see a lot of this because they all have to be closed at some point for just maintenance. Just check everything thoroughly, make sure everything's good. It's hard to do when the ride's in operation or even overnight. They have now put curtains up. You would, you were able to see in the show. Uh, you can see a little bit of the merchandise. It looks like the store has been fully stocked, or at least it's very close to it. So that's why they don't want to ruin the surprise about what's in it. <laughs>